in Ephesians chapter 2 where people will say that faith is a gift, and obviously most commonly you get this from the Calvinist crowd, and they that has seeped into a lot of other crowds where they now believe that God gave us the faith, it was not our own choosing. But in context, I'm going to show you otherwise, and we're going to do it without going back to the Greek or the Hebrew or the Spanish. That's not how we teach the Bible around here. We speak English. We're going to use the English Bible that's not missing any verses, that does not take away from the Lord Jesus Christ, that does not take hell out of the Bible that does not elevate Lucifer as Jesus Christ. This is the Bible we're going to use, the, the authorized version, the King James Version. And through this and this alone, I'm going to prove to you that faith is not a gift. Faith is your choice. For by grace are ye saved through faith. We're saved through faith, it says in the plain reading of it. Keep going. And that not of yourselves, it is the gift of God. Now, the gift of God. Does that ring a bell? Are there any verses that come to mind that talk about the gift of God? Yeah. Romans chapter 6, verse 23. The gift of God is eternal life. Does it say the gift of God is the faith to get eternal life? No. The gift of God is eternal life. The gift of God is salvation. The gift of God is you get to go to heaven and you don't deserve it. So we're going to prove it in context here that grace is a gift because salvation is a gift. It's the grace of God that He's been merciful to us. And this is going to be real easy to remember in the future, but it's Ephesians 1 7, Ephesians 2 7, 3 7, and 4 7. Let's take a look at them all. Go to Ephesians chapter 1, verse number 7. In whom we have redemption through His blood, the forgiveness of sins according to the riches of His grace. So how do we get redemption? How do we get forgiveness? How do we get salvation? It's by grace. Listen, grace is a gift. You're given a grace period on your bill. That's a gift. You didn't deserve it. So it's God is rich. He owns salvation. He owns forgiveness. He owns heaven. And He is so rich, He will let you in. He is so rich, when you believe on Him, He will save you, redeem you, and forgive you. So here in Ephesians 1, 7, He said, how do we get redemption? How do we get forgiveness? Well, it comes from my rich Father in Heaven. He is the one that was gracious to me and gave me this gift. When you hear the word grace, this is the easiest way to sum up any confusion in the Bible about the word grace. When you hear the word grace, think gift. He's rich. My rich Daddy gave me a gift. It's forgiveness of sins. It's redemption to my soul. Amen. What a beautiful thing. Now let's go to chapter 2, verse number 7. That in the ages to come, He might show the exceeding riches of His grace in His kindness toward us through Christ Jesus. It was through Christ Jesus that He gave me the riches of His grace, that He gave me redemption and forgiveness. While we're in chapter 2, take a step back to verse number 4. It's relevant here in context. It says, But God, who is rich in mercy, for His great love wherewith He loved us... So, God is rich in what? Grace. And God is rich in what? Mercy. How do we get saved? Through His grace and His mercy. It's not by our own doing. It's not by me being good. Now, when I hear of His grace and His mercy, it comes to me for a decision to trust in that and believe in that, and then I can receive the gift. Jump ahead to Ephesians chapter 3, verse number 7. Whereof I was made a minister according to the gift of the grace of God given unto me by the effectual working of His power. So, gift is given. Gift is grace. Grace was given unto us when we believed. When we chose Him and got saved. Look at the next verse, verse 8. Unto me, who am less than the least of the saints, is this grace given that I should preach among the Gentiles the unsearchable riches of Christ? Again, the riches of Christ. He will forgive all of your sins. He will redeem you no matter what you've done if you believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. We are saved by faith and the grace is given to us by God. Go to Ephesians chapter 4. Let's look at verse number 7. But unto every one of us is given grace according to the measure of the gift of Christ. So this one couldn't be any clearer. The gift of Christ is grace. When somebody says, well, Ephesians 2 
Faith is the gift. You say Ephesians 1, 7, 2, 7, 3, 7, 4, 7. Grace is the gift. It's not faith. Faith was not granted to you or injected in your heart. It wasn't like God just opened up and shoved some faith in there and all of a sudden you're capable of believing. Right. Well, you're such a sinner. You're in the flesh. It's impossible for you to comprehend and believe. That's a lie. That's not what the Bible teaches. That's what men teach. That's what the Pope wants to teach you. You have to come to me to understand it. you got to come to the Pope, come to the priest. you got to come to James White and he'll tell you what it really means and then maybe you can be saved. Yeah. Not true, my friend. Listen, we're saved by faith. He's given us the gift of grace and that gift is salvation. The gift of grace is salvation. Look at verse number 8. Ephesians 4, 8. Wherefore he saith, when he ascendeth up on high, he led captivity captive and gave gifts unto men. Man, praise the Lord. One day we're going to be rewarded. But here he's given gifts of grace. When he went up on high, when he ascended, guess what? He has now redeemed us. He's paid with his blood. And now he gives us the gift of salvation, the gift of forgiveness. The gift of grace is salvation. I want you to go to Romans chapter 10.